Good day everyone. This is just a short video explaining how the solo system management works. So as you can see right here, this customer at this time of the morning, quarter to 11, is already producing 7.2 kilowatt on his solar power, right there. Over here, he's feeding back 3.8 kilowatt to the grid, and his consumption at this moment is 3.06 kilowatt. The battery remains full, it's only for backup purposes. As you can see on this side, it tells you the weather as well. Uh, why it's telling you the weather is to indicate to you why the panels are not performing to its best, and why is it performing at a good state. If we go a little bit down, here's our graph for the day. So since last night, 12 o'clock, it started a new day. So as you can see here, it runs consumption and the production. Obviously, production will be uh, low at this moment because there's no sunshine. So as you can see here, production is getting up and up. It stops right here because this is the time we're doing it now, the video. So everything stops here. The nice thing is over here, you can see your day-to-day -day production activity. You can see per month, per year, and the total you've produced since the system was uh, installed. Over here, you can select different parameters, uh, feeding, battery, discharge, temperature, the state of charge, the charging process, uh, purchasing. The purchasing means how much you purchase from the grid. The grid and the purchasing is basically the same. The weather is there indicating to you it's sunshine, so that's why the panels are performing well. Over here, you'll see a cloud. That is, The cloud means there's no sunshine. And you can also export all the details you found here. You can export it over to Excel spreadsheet. Over here, you can go back in history. So let's go one day back to yesterday's production. As you can see, from 12 o'clock until 12 o'clock over here. Uh, the blue line there indicates the production of his solar power. So he's permanently producing a lot of solar power here, going up to 9 kilowatt. But today, yesterday, the furthest he went to 7.9 kilowatt. Let's go a few days back. Uh, he has a perfect graph. As you can see there, production is 8.4, 8.5, 8.4 again. You can even go back even further and further and further. You can, the history doesn't delete itself. It stays there. Since the day you've installed the system, the history will remain on your system. If you go a little bit down here, um, even here, yes, for today so far. So, so far for the day, since 6 o'clock, this customer produced 12.9 kilowatts. Uh, the south used, he only used 7 kilowatts so far for himself for the loads in his house. The feed-in, he's already feed 5.2 kilowatt back to the grid. The battery doesn't charge much because it doesn't use the battery at night. The battery is only for backup purposes. So production, it's also a daily consumption here. So far for the day, he's used uh, 7 kilowatt. Let's go back to history for yesterday, just to give you guys an idea how the system works. So for yesterday, only for yesterday, he produced 52.8 kilowatt, which is quite good. Um, he used 24.9 kilowatt himself. He sent 26.6 back to the grid, and the battery also charged with 1.2 kilowatt. So the total consumption for the day yesterday was 64.5 kilowatt. Um, he didn't purchase anything from ESCOM because he fed back 26.6 kilowatt. So the 64 plus the 24.5 adds up. So it means if he purchased power yesterday, he only purchased about 